Welcome to the Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show, where we make plant-based cooking easy. I'm Jill, and this is number two in our Whole Food Oil-Free Salad Dressing Series. And today's recipe, Thousand Island Dressing. So Thousand Island Dressing. After asking you guys from our last show, which was ranch, what show you would like to see next on a salad dressing, a lot of you said Thousand Island Dressing, so that's what we're going to do. And typically Thousand Island is made with a base of, of ketchup and mayonnaise, which we're not using. And I'll tell you why later. But first we're going to start with a small salad here. Not that you don't know how to make a salad, but sometimes you know you get stuck in a rut with your salad and it gets a little boring. So I'm going to show you some of the things that, you know, this is a typical uh, salad that my husband likes to eat. I'm a little bit more simple. I like maybe two or three ingredients, but he just packs it all in there. So that's more of what this kind of salad is. So we're just going to start off with a bowl of romaine that I just rinsed and chopped already. And then we've got some red bell pepper. And then some cucumber, some chopped up apples, because that's really nice to have kind of a crunchy little sweet. You know, you typically don't have a whole lot of fruit on a salad, but it really is delicious. Some shredded carrots, some roasted almonds, and he loves to put raisins on his. I'm not a fan of raisins on my salad, but this is one of the, th the things that he loves to put on there. A little bit of something sweet, some sunflower seeds, and we're going to put a few little cherry tomatoes on there, because that's what I like in my salad. And then I have some cracked pepper here that I found at the store that I really like. It's oak wood smoked pepper, and it's made by McCormick. I really like the taste of this. I mean, I like cracked pepper just plain too, but this stuff just adds a really nice flavor. And then he always tops his with nutritional yeast. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, a nice, simple salad. And there's a lot of things in there to keep you interested in eating a salad. All those delicious little tidbits of things, yum. Okay, so I'm gonna clear this out and then we're gonna start with the dressing. While we're waiting for that, I would like to share with you some of the exciting things we offer here on the show. Our official website, plantbasedcookingshow.com offers hundreds of our original free step-by-step -step video recipes, as well as tips and resources for everyday plant-based living. For more in-depth learning, we created the 28 Days Plant-Based Made Easy course, which will teach you everything you need to know to successfully transition to a plant-based diet in 28 days. The course includes weekly meal plans and shopping guides, 65 tasty video recipes, and daily learning materials from our most trusted plant-based resources. All of our classes offer lifetime access so you can take your time and work through them at your own pace and revisit them as much as you like. Our plant-based made easy community offers our basic free membership that is free for life and is great for staying in the loop. And our legends membership for $15 a month that offers instant access to all of our digital products including our 28-day course and holiday feast cooking class, our growing line of printable cookbooks, wholesale discounts on our branded apparel and named credit in the show. Okay, let's get back to the show. Okay, so here are all our lovely ingredients that are gonna go into the Thousand Island dressing. And instead of mayonnaise, we are going to use a whole food fat. And that is gonna consist of sunflower seeds, and hemp seeds, just like we did last week with a ranch dressing. So hemp, the hemp seeds I use are from Nutiva. And if you notice here, I'm wearing my hemp t-shirt. 
But let me tell you a little bit more about hemp seeds and why we use them in our food. Hemp seeds are derived from industrial hemp with the hulled seeds containing zero THC, so it's perfectly safe for all ages. The seeds contain 33% protein by weight and offer all 20 amino acids, including the nine essential amino acids that can only be derived from food. Hemp protein is easily digestible, making it an excellent replacement for nuts for those who have nut sensitivity. Another exciting use for the same industrial hemp plant is to mix the hemp herds from the stock with lime and water to create hempcrete. This material is carbon negative and can now be used to build homes with prefabricated blocks that look enticingly like Legos. The material is highly fire and termite resistant, offers excellent thermal insulation, and is completely food grade and non-toxic and can now be grown here in the U.S. All right, so we are going to start with the fats, and I've got my Nutribullet here um, just because it's only making a smaller amount. It might be more difficult in a larger blender because it's a smaller amount. So this is a quarter of a cup of sunflower seeds, and the complete recipe will be in a link in the details below. Our hemp seeds, these are hemp hearts. So the hemp hearts, uh, they don't have the shell on them. They've already been hulled. This is rolled oats, a quarter of a cup. And what I have here is a tablespoon of raisins, a teaspoon of paprika, I'm sorry, a half teaspoon of paprika, and a whole teaspoon of onion powder. And then I have a quarter of a cup of white wine vinegar, because that's really the best tasting one for this particular recipe. You could use apple cider vinegar, but I feel like it's a little bit too strong. Then we have uh, two tablespoons of tomato paste. And the raisins and the tomato paste together is kind of what's going to replace our ketchup element. Then we have two tablespoons of lemon juice. And we still have the relish here, but we're not going to add that until the end because you don't want to grind up your relish. And this is dill relish, not the sweet relish. And then we have one cup of water. Now we're just gonna blend this up. And you wanna blend this really well because if you don't blend your oats up well enough, it'll, it'll taste a little bit grainy. So you really wanna just blend it until it's just really thick and creamy. Okay. So right now your dressing is going to be a little bit, see how it's a little bit watery? But as it sits, it's going to set up because the fats in this, the hemp seeds and the sunflower seeds and the oats together are going to bulk up. They're going to soak up that liquid. And if you put it in the refrigerator, it's going to thicken up even more. So maybe on your second day, you might have to add just a little bit of water to shake it back up again and it'll be a great consistency. Okay, so now is the time when we add the relish. And like I said before, it's dill relish, not sweet relish. You could probably use sweet relish, but then I think the dressing overall would just be a little too sweet. I guess I'm just going to use that to mix it up with. And an interesting story behind this Thousand Island dressing, because I always thought, well, that's kind of weird. Ketchup and mayonnaise for a salad dressing as the base. But there's a story about it's named after a town called Thousand Islands, New York, where a, a fisherman's wife was making her husband's lunches to go out on the river to fish or the lake. And uh, he, he just fell in love with this dressing and he started um, sharing it with his other fisherman buddies. And it just kind of became a hit. So there's our dressing. Let's go to the table and try it out. Okay, so we got our salad dressing done. But if, you, if there's another salad dressing that you are more interested in, please be sure to let us know in the comments below and like this video so that we can keep these recipes coming to you. So now, let's taste. Got my handy dandy Nutribullet flip top, 
salad pour. So handy. That's about good. Mmm. Yum. Tastes like Big Mac so sauce on a salad. Mmm. You're gonna love it. And I'll see you next time.